Hi guys, welcome to Punis Astrology and this video is about the eclipse that is going to happen on 21st of this month. Just two days later, there is going to be a big eclipse, a lunar eclipse which will not be visible in India, but this has a great astrological importance. Why? Reason number one, Moon is in going to be in the sign of Cancer and Rahu is already in the sign of Cancer and Moon will join Rahu as soon as it enters the sign of Cancer. What next? Sun. Mercury and Ketu are in the sign of Capricorn. So you can understand Sun is Digbali in the sign of Capricorn and Moon is in his own house in the sign of Cancer. So in the karmic axis of Rahu and Ketu, Sun and Moon are strong. Mercury is along with Sun. So your mind, body and soul are now in the karmic axis. So this means if you want to cleanse your body, your mind, your karma, this is the time. You will have two day of window and in this two-day window, you will be able to cleanse all your astrological sixth house effects, the past life karma. And if you want to do this, all you need to do is invoke the energies of the luminaries, sun, moon and mercury. So you have to make your mind, body and soul unite into one fashion, perform yoga, perform pranayam and chant some basic mantras. These two days you can mark, maybe this is the event of the century and this is not going to happen again because Rahu will again go to the sign of cancer probably 18 years later so it may happen 18 years down the line but there is one more catch here because Jupiter being in Scorpio is aspecting the zodiac of cancer so my dear guys try this out for these two days focus on your horoscope find out the bad points find out the karmic debts that you're facing and try to cleanse it that's it for this video this is a short take on this eclipse